What is going on guys, Grape here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's video, I want to give you guys some good places that you could set up your camp for your trading company. Now, I, now that I have reached level 20, these are some of my favorite places to kind of set up my trading camp. Some of them have some good things about them, some of them have some bad things about them. So let's go ahead and start off down in New Austin. Now when you're in New Austin, Chola Springs, McFarland's Ranch, or Rio Bravo are the best places to hunt in my opinion. The downside to hunting down here and having your trading camp here is tumbleweed and armadillo are kind of a good distance apart. This part of the map is pretty much a good distance from anywhere else. So you'll have to ride all the way up to Blackwater if you need to go to any stores or sell anything. If that you can't find what you're looking for in, of course, uh, you know, tumbleweed or armadillo. But these two areas have a lot of deer and a lot of pronghorn. Those two, of course, will fill that bar up the quickest in, trip, uh, in Crips Trading Company. That animal section, that animal parts bar, you know, there where you have to go take hides and things. So if you can find full carcasses of deer and pronghorns, those are the ones you're going to be going after in every one of these areas. The next area that we're going to talk about, of course, is going to be around Blackwater and West Elizabeth. Tall trees and Great Plains are a wonderful place to hunt because of the deer, the pronghorn. There's even some cougar spawns here. There's some other large animals like buffalo and elk. I would not go after those or, you know, kill those and take the full carcasses back unless you cannot find the deer, the pronghorn, or the cougars. The downside to hunting around here is there's always a lot of people here, so the animal spawns are very sparse. Sometimes you cannot find anything in Blackwater. Sometimes you can. But if you get around tall trees and great plains at the right time of day when there's not a lot of people on, this is a very good hunting ground in my opinion. And you're, like I said, you're close to Blackwater. Just be careful. There are some grievers around here, so that can be an issue as well. The next area we're going to talk about, of course, is around Lemoyne. Now, you can go to the Southfield, the Ringneck Creek, or the Maddock Pond. Now, these areas have a good bit of deer. There's a lot of wild turkeys down here, of course. You can find turkeys and buck rabbits or, you know, whitetail rabbits uh, anywhere in the game. But this area seems to have a lot of them here. Now, I would not go with small animal carcasses if you do have the hunting wagon. Even though you can carry 10 small animal carcasses, it is best to carry large animal carcasses that are three star so bucks would be the first thing then white tail deer if you cannot find those at least the good thing about this area is there's some pigs here and also like i said those turkeys and those uh, rabbits are uh, pretty prevalent in this area there's a lot of wooded places and open fields so it's kind of easy to see and lemoyne is a good place to kind of travel between different areas you know you can go down to saint denis or you can go to Rhodes to be able to sell anything that you need this next area is my personal favorite. This is where I usually always set up my trading camp. Of course, this is in, this is in New Hanover, and this is going to be either around the Heartlands Overflow or the Oil Fields. Now, New Hanover is a just wide open kind of flat area, and sometimes there's just not a lot of activity around some of these places. But in my opinion, the Heartland Overflow and the Oil Fields always have a lot of deer. There's always tons of either whitetail deer or you know bucks out here. And that is a good thing if you have a hunting wagon. You can get five three-star carcasses pretty quickly as long as you're in a server that is spawning animals. And if you get into a server where there's not animal spawning in this location, just try to change servers and get, a, get into a, a, a server with less players. And you should be able to find a lot of animals around that uh, area in New Hanover. Now, one of the areas I think a lot of people is kind of distant and people don't really go up here. Of course, it's above Annisburg. There's a lot of animals in this location. And the good thing about this is there's not a lot of players. The bad thing is Annisburg does not have a lot of stores. So you may have to fast travel somewhere else to sell meat or, you know, if you need to buy something. This is the only bad thing about Annisburg. And some of these roads are kind of hilly and curvy. So if you have a wagon up here, it's kind of bad. But if you are in Annisburg, uh, Brandywine Drop, Roanoke Valley River, all of these areas right in here are good for deer. There is a cougar spawn up here but mainly going to be looking for those deer again. Anywhere that you can find a good, plentiful amount of deer that you can get a three-star carcass of is where you want to be. And last but not least, these are kind of just honorable mentions. The Grizzlies from Grizzlies West to East and kind of the Cumberland Forest are good areas to hunt, in my opinion. But I have one issue up here. A lot of times I cannot find animals to spawn up here whatsoever. And second of all, if I do have to do a local delivery or you know a long-distance delivery or if I have my hunting wagon out, some of these roads are very hilly, very mountainous, and very curvy, so it's kind of dangerous kind of going in and out of your camp. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.